again Dr. Faraz Ahmad and in this video we are going to talk about that how you can update your visa. What does it mean? Like if you're working in the NHS and your contract is going to end or you want to resign from that job and you have given some interview to the next employer or to the next NHS trust and you have gotten a job. So what does it mean? Can you work on the previous visa? No, you cannot work on the previous visa. Definitely you have to change your visa. Like you are in the United Kingdom, you have previous visa which is going to end how you can update the other visa. So after having the COS from the new trust, what you will do, you will apply for a new visa and you will update your visa. So in this video, I am going to let you know that how you can update your visa without going a biometric appointment. Like if you are in Pakistan and you have applied for the visa, definitely you will have to get a date for the biometric appointment and you will go over there, you will, you know, waste your one or two days on the biometric and that's is. But in United Kingdom, this is a part that while you are here, you can apply for your visa without going for the biometric. Yes, you can go. Please keep in mind, if you have a good Android phone, we support the visa application app. And if you have iPhone above the iPhone 7, definitely you can do your biometric from your home so let's move to the laptop screen i will let you know every step so you will write skilled worker visa in any of the browser so different type of link will open in front of you and you have to scroll down and you have to click on the link of the update uk visa if you change your job or the employer you will click over here so this information will be open in front of you you can read this information regarding the fee and the process and then you will click on the apply now button you have to give this simple information and this where this is where is information do you have brp yes i have and if your brp uh, and the passport have the same name yes you will click on the continue button so then you have to check if you can use the app this app is basically for your biometric at home if you have iPhone above 7, if you have Android having the NFC setting, yes, you can use this app. So for using this app, I will let you know on the next page. So what you have to do, you have to click on the continue button and here you can see on the next page, like to use this service, you have to create an account on UK visa and immigration. And to create this account, they are asking about your date of birth. They are going to ask about your passport, email address and the phone number. So when we will click on the create account button, then we will move to create the account. So here they will ask you different question. I am creating this account for myself. I will uh, add my country name. Then I will add the details of my the BRP. They are asking regarding the number of my BRP and date of expiry of my BRP. I will add all my details over here. They will they are asking about the my date of birth, my name, my surname, and everything. I will write. Okay. So after this, so they are asking what email address you want to use. So we will enter our email address and they will send a code on the email address and we have to enter security code over here to confirm yes it's me. Then they are asking about our phone number, we will enter our phone number, then they will send a, a security code on the phone number as well and we have to enter that security code, they want to confirm that it's you. Okay, do you want to add a helper to this account? It's totally up to you if you want to add yes, otherwise no. The other thing is that check your answer before you create the account. You have to check all the answers which we have just given, then we will click on the create account button. So now congratulations, we have created our account. So using the details which we have used in the creation of account, we can click on the sign in button and he will ask regarding the details which you, we used during the creation of the account. So what document we used during the creation of account? Yes, we used BRP. We will click over here. And after this, they will ask about the BRP number, which we have used during the creation of the account. We will enter the BRP number. We will definitely enter our date of birth. Again, same thing he he's asking. And then they will send a security code on the email or the phone number. And we have to put over here. Now we can start our application for the skilled worker visa without visiting the uh, biometric center. We will click on the continue button so here you can see that we have to add the different details like identity and the contact details prepare application details pay and apply submit application provide the evidence and the visa center appointment we are not going to take the appointment of the visa center so i will let you know so first of all we will click on the confirm the identity and we will confirm our identity using the app we are not going to visit uh, the biometric center we are using our app 
so let me tell you how we will use our app now i have just mentioned previously that we should have our iphone uh, above iphone 7 or android phone having the nfc setting otherwise we can go to the biometric center as well it's totally up to you we will click on the continue button does your identity document have this chip chip which is in the black color definitely everyone brp will be having this type of the chip if your biometric uh, if your brp has this chip above your picture you have to click on the yes button check you have the right smartphone iphone 7 are above and the android phone with nfc setting yes i have click on the continue button and then you can just try it uk migration id check app in the play store or you can use the link given over here as well to get the app in your mobile then you will connect the app to the account which you have created in your laptop so you can that account with the app using the security code or the barcode as well so we will uh, connect the account using the barcode so what you have to do you have to click the link given in the description to get the uk immigration id check app when you will click on the link two further links will open in front of you one link for android and one link for the iphone you can directly uh, you know write in the play store uh, uk immigration uh, id check app and you, this uh, app will open in front of you you will download this app and you will open this app when you will open this app so what you have to do the first thing you have to connect this app using the id number or the barcode given on your laptop screen when you will scan like this your mobile phone with the barcode so this app will be connected with your application in the laptop you will scan your uh, brp back side then you will scan the brp of your front side so after scanning and uploading of your pictures what you have to do you have to enable this important setting nfc setting when you will click on the setting you can easily enable this setting when you will enable this setting in your mobile so your account will be connected with your mobile and these things will be uploaded here you can see information checked then you will scan your face it will scan your face and it will be automatically authenticated after the scanning of face what you have to do you have to take your picture as well and in this way your scanned face your picture your brp pictures are uploaded and your biometric is done so guys here you can see we have confirmed our identity it's mean we have done our biometric and now we are going toward the immigration advisor details so if you have any immigration advisor from the united kingdom you have to give the details otherwise as i didn't use any immigration advisor so i selected no and then you have to check your answer as well before continuing it and now you can uh, upload the other information which is regarding your contact preferences like we have given the email previously and we have given the number as well you can select that email or you can change the email it's totally totally up to you so in this way guys you can enter your details from the cos as well please read the cos before entering those details okay so in this way you can upload all your details here you can see I have uploaded a lot of details which were very easy so I have not recorded them in the video so this is very important this is just for the checking in the future if you forget your application uh, if sorry if you forget your password you can use the, the these details to get enter into your account so then you have to accept all the conditions given over here you will read all of them and you will click on the continue button the next steps are regarding the fee and the evidence upload okay so now i will tell you about the uh, before going to the fee uh, yes we will say i am the applicant age 18 or the above definitely and then it will take us toward the fee of this uh, application so let's move toward the fee of this application and this is called as the application payment there are two services you can see over here one service is the priority and the other one is the standard i have taken the standard service and the fee of the standard is 247 great britain pound and the priority services uh, you know fee is 747 great britain pound and the dc and maximum maximum it can take eight weeks we will click on the continue button you can say here see here that the payment is successful and after the successful payment we will keep on continuing button you must provide your evidence so we can start the process of your application 
so as we have done everything for uh, online for this application definitely they are not going to ask for any of the evidence but still we will complete the application when we will select over here upload the evidence so what happens next it's clearly saying based on your application answers you do not need to provide any of the evidence so we will confirm and submit the application so that's all 